everybody, it's Shugga Conroy, did not forget about you. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last time, we made it into Koopa Bros Fortress, stormed the place, and proceeded to instantly get captured. But it's okay, because there was somebody inside of the jail cell who was capable of blowing it up. Yeah, my life is awfully convenient, isn't it? This time, we're gonna be going around the fortress a little bit, getting some things that we can now get with Bombat. Let's get started. I wanna go into this room. Get this key. We were right near the entrance, and right in front of the fortress is not only a heart block, but also a cracked wall. Mew, mew, mew. Mew, mew, mew. The way it goes down all circular like. It's pretty cute. Treasure chest that we saw up on top of the ledge, FP plus. Trades one BP level up for one FP level up. Three BP for five FP. On the way back, another thing that's kind of sad about Bombette is that she's not immune to explosions like Cooper is, so also inherently not the best in the area that she is introduced in. Got all that backtracking out of our system, so now back to our regularly scheduled adventure in the room where we fell into the jail cell. We got a door that's got a save block, but it's also got a treasure chest. By taking that, We get a new badge, refund. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. This is a personal favorite badge of mine and we'll be going over these new badges a little bit later. It is kind of weird how that jail cell is just depicted as water in this room. Not sure if that's a holdover from earlier in development or if they just didn't care and I'm a really anal retentive child. That's probably what it is. I meant was an anal retentive child, but uh, well, I guess my detractors are gonna have some fun with me today. Well, we get 10 max FP from that. Probably should have equipped that when I was near the heart block. But it's okay, I won't jump cut away to that. I'll just kind of make my bed and then lie in it. FP plus is pretty useful. Um, it makes it so again, you don't really have low stats if you're going for badge points on early level ups. I did not know that you were there, buddy. That's kind of cool. Uh, You know what? I think now would be a fine time to hurt my partner and show how that works. Sorry, Bombette. Any hit whatsoever will cause a bob bomb to detonate and instantly go out. Uh, but if an enemy, if a partner takes damage, almost said if an enemy takes damage, uh, for each uh, hit, takes them out for one turn. So in this situation, we got to go a turn without our partner, but that's okay because we're only going to take one damage from you, which I can totally guard. Kimmy, thank you. Oh, hey, Pow Block, nice. That'll be good at taking out some paratroopers. Now that we got the key, we can go onward. It's nice and efficient with that. And then, oh, this room. I remember getting stuck on this so much as a kid. So I would hit this with Cooper. <laughs> the Koopa running out in time with those is kind of good. And then I'd get here and I'd be like, I can't get through this. I can't like jump out and around it. What the heck do I do? And then I would go back here and then I would hit it again. Uh, hit it again. See why I was bad at this as a kid? I'm still bad at it now. No, and then that would happen. And I'd be like, well crap, now I can't get across. What do I do? <laughs> it took me, I kid you not, upwards of half an hour to think to just do it over here. I think I even called my mom into the room to help me because I was having that much trouble with it. And I don't remember if she figured it out or not, but it bothered me so much that I couldn't figure this out and I thought it was such a hard puzzle. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna save any face by saying I was 10 years old then either. I think I really should have been able to figure this out, but it was one of my worst brain farts. Or Nah, it's not one of my worst brain farts. Half of the stories that I've told about how bad I was at video games as a kid, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> you know what? It time. It time. I'm gonna take you out with a power block and then a power shell. Bombette can't do this. <laughs> gotcha. Sort of an unseen mechanic that I can see someone going through the game without realizing is that just because an enemy gives like one star point doesn't mean that two of them give two star points. There's sort of an unseen mechanic where the game understands that taking out a group of enemies expends more resources and is more challenging. So when taking out a group of enemies, you tend to get one or two bonus star points um, as a result of taking them out. Maybe watch and see how many star points you get for beating an enemy. It happens on occasion. 
we can have some fun with this puzzle and confuse the puzzle as revenge for confusing me. We let Bombette go, jump on it, and then she explodes in the cutscene and... This really freaks the game out, but it doesn't crash it or anything, so you can just kind of have fun with it to your heart's content. <laughs> that one was even more freaky, Audi. Go down. Uh, no, that's my items. There I go, calling my partner's things again. I'm the kind of guy they want to be a leader with. You can also press the button again after Bombette comes out to explode sooner. Just a nice little thing. Um, in there. On the N64 version and in the Wii version of the game, the crack stays on the wall even though we have blown it up. In the Wii U version onward, it does not. Just a little graphical hiccup, they fixed it in re-releases. It's kinda cool, I guess. Nice of them to think to do that all these years later. You probably didn't notice it in a CRT as a kid. I sure as heck didn't. We'll hit the switch and... Wow, that's the most powerful one so far. Oh, I got an idea for what I could do against these guys. Okay, let's do it. Let's launch the bomb and boom! Yeah, it's difficult to do, but you can get a first strike with Bombette. It even behaves as though you succeeded at the action command. It's the one and only attack that does that and man, does it feel good to pull off. I love that about her. It's a pretty good opportunity. You kind of have to look out for chances to do it, uh, such as whenever enemies have fixed movement like that or whenever an enemy can't really see you all that easily. But if you can pull it off, man, few feelings are more satisfying than doing so. What pow And I do believe that it is your flesh and blood that will carry me to another level up. That's it, star points are people! You're leveling up from eating people! What's nice of the level up screen is it's kind enough to tell you if you have an HP plus or an FP plus badge equipped, showing that that is not truly what your stat is. I'm gonna go for BP yet again. Cause you know, I got an HP plus badge. I could always equip that if I wanted. Don't want power bounce, don't want hammer throw. Uh, I could go for refund and close call, I guess. Let's do that, we haven't shown refund off. I don't think I need more than 10 HP, or... Uh, I don't know if I wanna be saying those words out loud. I don't know if I can face myself with that. Power jump has not been coming in that handy lately, so I think we'll go all in on stats. I do like refund quite a bit, and there is a chance to use an item coming up that I really, really wanna use. Uh, ooh, can I? No, no, no. I don't know. Uh, okay, so you only go that far. No, I uh, almost did it. Would have been cool. Bonk. Ooh, they're only giving one star point each now. Next, we get Smash Charge. When charged, Mario's hammer power goes up by two. This is, uh, kind of begs the question of why not just hammer again, but I'll equip it anyway, because I'm a man of my word. Oh, I gotta say goodbye to something, don't I? Uh, let's, uh, hmm, let me think about this. I gave it some thought, and I like me just the way I am. Let's get moving, we definitely want Dizzy Attack. Uh, uh. Well, 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 Mario! I wouldn't have bet you'd make it this far! Pfft, don't get smug, pal! You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you as, uh, if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Yeah, boys, open fire. This stellar remix of the Mario 3 airship theme was my first time ever hearing this song as a kid, so whenever I hear that in Mario 3, I always instantly think of Paper Mario. We get a maple syrup, delicious maple syrup restores 10 FP. And has great health benefits or other some such jokes. Uh, let's go for the dizzy attack. Uh, oh, wow, I've been doing pretty good at avoiding these guys. We'll spin you out, and I do not have Goombario out. What am I doing? Tattle him, please. He doesn't even look dizzy. This is a bullet bill, a kamikaze attacker. 
This game is very metal when it wants to be. Yikes, we're talking about slave drivers and now kamikazes? If you don't beat bullet bills quickly, they'll slam into you and explode. Thanks for mentioning it after our turn is already over, buddy. <laughs> Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. I'm serious, Mario. These guys will make us pay if they manage to hit us. We have to beat them before they get a chance to strike us. Gee, would be nice. Would be nice. Two damage. Two damage again. I fail to block it. Thankfully, no defense. We can at least do that, knocking out one of them. Dizzy attack makes them a lot more manageable. It's kind of what I like about it. As long as we are spinning, they can't possibly first strike us, which is good. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna be a lot better this time around. One, two. And one, two. I probably wanna get Cooper out now that we've tattled them as PowerShell will be a good emergency move for the situations where we need him. They don't truly count as flying enemies, so hammer them away. Nice and easy. Thinking about maybe going close call here, just cause, uh, not really taking advantage of that extra health right now. Uh, yeah, let's do close call, and then I can throw on... We'll toss on smash charge. I do need to show that. Okay. Zoom! Got it! I did not pull out Cooper. Crap, what am I doing? Ah, oh, there's only three of them, it's fine. There that goes. We don't get coins from that. If we had payoff, we might. I'll take the save right here. I wanna play around with my badge setup here for a second. I'm gonna take off Dizzy Attack, as those count as bosses, so there are rare instances of an enemy that isn't hurt by it, and I can take that maybe? Uh, maybe I'll take Power Bounce, actually. Uh, I'm just trying to think about the bigger picture here. Yeah, Power Bounce. To keep my 10 HP, and then, wait for you to fire, Bombay, go! Ha ha, first strike, awesome! Good one! Instantly died! That was really, really good. I think this turn, uh, I'll charge up my hammer, as I've not done that yet. It is one FP and two badge points to raise Mario's hammer attack by two on his next turn. You might be thinking, so why not just attack twice? You know, his hammer does two damage, why the heck not? It can have uses in situations like this where the enemy has defense, but it's kind of, oh gosh, I got myself into a bad situation here, didn't I? Um, hmm. I guess this is just as good a time as any to go over this. It is not the very next turn. In a situation like this, where I need to jump on an enemy, I can jump on it and I keep the hammer charge. It is the next usage of the hammer specifically, which is nice. These enemies also only attack every other turn, so that is the best way to go. This is a bolt bill blaster. Bill blasters are cannons that shoot out bullet bills. Max HP four, attack power zero, defense power one. They won't attack us directly, but they'll keep shooting out bullet bills as long as they can. It's efficient to attack them all at once, but you can also beat them one at a time. Okay. Uh, I think now I'll just go for this. It's useful for whenever you can't do anything for a turn, or Mario just doesn't really have anything useful for the current situation, but you know that a hammer will be needed on a future turn. It's not a great badge, but at least it's available early on when it doesn't have that many, that much competition from other better hammer effects, so I at least applaud them on that. We also get one star point for every time we do that. Also, we can change partners on our partner's turn and not on Mario's turn every single time. I really should have been doing that earlier, but I just didn't think about it. We do one damage, you're down. A lot of star points. You can jump on that. And I think since we got a free heart block right nearby, why the hell not, just go to town. Boom! Quarter of the way to the next level. Ah. Uh -uh. Ooh, lots of coins everywhere. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What's interesting about Smash Charge was that it, there was going to be a weaker version of this badge called Weak Smash Charge. It would have been one FP and one BP to increase Mario's attack by one. This is very unnecessary and it would be useless to spend a turn doing, so it was cut out. All right, nowhere else to run. We've cornered the Koopa Bros. Time for our big showdown. You guys ready? 
Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg! Ow, my shell, get off! Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of, what are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all! Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally! Let's do this! Remember to look cool, guys! Yeah! Whoa! That is Totes Kawabunga! Ka ha ha ha! I have been waiting for you, Mario! Bwahaha! The strongest and the coolest! Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser! It's time for me to defeat these foolish ideas out of you! Saving Peach, please! Watch this and weep! Oh! Why don't you tackle this one, Bowser? Bowser? But he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's lame anyway, but... <laughs> Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 1. Does Bowser really look like this? I always imagine him looking, well... A lot scarier. He's actually pretty adorable if you see him in person. I'm gonna pierce his defense by using our Thunderbolt. It is one target and we get a refund right there. The refund badge, for one badge point, it gives back 75% of an item's sale price when using it during battle. Does nothing on the field. <laughs> I am invincible! You are powerless before me! I really wish they had a version of the Star Rod that they pulled out and used. That would be really funny. Um, I think we're just going to go for this. It's not like I'm really all that terribly afraid of things. Um, we'll change over to, uh, nah, I don't want to, yeah, I do. Goombario can't do anything against defense, so we need to switch. Bombette also deserves her sweet revenge. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny! You can't even touch me! Ah, uh, no Star Rod, oh well. Just bop him a few times and he'll go down. His music is a remix of Bowser's theme from Mario 3 combined with the Switch Palace theme from Mario World. It's kind of funny how it's got that whole mysterious, kind of uneasy feel to it. Ha 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 ha! Oh ha ha! You're so weak! Oh, I can't stop laughing! <laughs> Mario really thinks we're King Bowser. Mario will hear us. This is great, man. I love it. I think he has like one more line that I want to want him to say, so I'm just going to do nothing on Bombette's turn right here. Uh, yeah, let's just do nothing. Ugh, you're pathetic. Are you always this week? The sequel should be called Paper Bowser. Um, Red, we've got rips in a lot of different places here. Forget about it. Mario's shaking in his boots. Let's get him. Oh, these guys are awesome. I just love them so much. Oh, this, that costume was perfect. Bowser loved it. Bowser loved it. <laughs> and in the shell, there's a photo of Princess Peach. I'm guessing that's what they were mad at Yellow for. Here come the Koopa Bros! Batman! Okay, Mario, have a taste of this! When they're out like this, we want to attack immediately. They take no damage or status when they're in a tower like that. Whoa! We're going over! Unfortunately, that was the end of our turn, so the Koopa Bros special super spinning attack! Four damage. Pretty devastating, huh? Yeah. Bowser said he wasn't easily impressed and for good reason. They're pretty tough. Whoa, we're going over. Say it again. Okay, Bombette, you attack from the side. That is what we want. A Ninja Koopa is still a Koopa. It's kind of funny that Shredder never really tried just knocking over the Ninja Turtles. 
Uh, I want to use, uh, let's do a mushroom right now. Saying let's do a mushroom is not a good choice of words, me just saying. So, uh, this is gonna be a long fight because I want to tattle each of them. So yeah, just letting you know, we're in this one for the long haul. Ninja Koopa. They even call them Ninja Koopas. I was not making that up. They really are. This is green Ninja Koopa. He looks exactly the same as a normal Koopa. Tri <laughs> Whoa! That'd get you in some hot water in the right place. Max HP 5, attack power 1, defense power 1. He has a little bit of defense power, but you can turn him over by jumping on him, just like a normal Koopa Troopa. Let's flip him over quick, otherwise the bros may form a tower and do their famous spinning attack. I want to do a dizzy dial right here. I said status is good. Let's see how it does against bosses. Whoa, that looks like we're gonna fall over. It worked on two of them. It removed two of them from the fight. For two turns, no less. It's, status is good. Oh, wow, we got a lucky right there. <laughs> I was gonna demonstrate that we take less damage from that. We take one damage for each Koopa that's in the tower. So it's kind of another way that they're, that this is really good. Uh, we'll tattle on yellow next. This is Yellow Ninja Koopa. Yellow reminds me of Curry. Isn't that a weird thing to think of in the middle of a battle? They all have the same stats. He has a little bit of defense power, but you can flip him over by jumping him just like a normal Koopa Troopa. Let's flip him over quick. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> they look like they're getting down to the rave in here. The music's great. Let's be quiet here for a second so you can hear it. Awesome. Also, Batman. Can we just tattle the Tower of Koopa Bros? I don't, I didn't know that you could do this. Yeah, the Koopa Bros have formed a tall Koopa Tower. Max HP, attack power, and defense power. I'm not sure about this. They do a spinning attack with a whole gang pile the top of one another. Hit him with a hammer or something to make him unstable. After that, the attack should knock him down. If you use an explosion, you can make him fall down at once. If you flip him over, the battle will nearly be ours. Beat him one by one. Oh god, I realize that I'm gonna need to switch off of Goombario here. Oh no, okay, so we gotta heal this turn. I gotta switch off of Goombario. I gotta switch back in someone else to knock them over. This is gonna be kinda hard, actually. Um, at least I think you gotta do Goombario. I hope I'm not wrong about that. Uh, let's Super Shroom now, because I'm low on health. I have to know if a jump can do this. Nope, it has no effect. You have to hit them from the side. I cannot time that attack for beans. It's annoying. Do you remember when Bombette said that she exploded near the Koopa Bros and it didn't go over so well? Her bomb can knock over the tower in one hit, but it's a lot of FP and you're not doing any actual damage. So if I can avoid that, I want to. We're able to shake him, but we're not able to quite knock him over because it's got to be in the same turn. This is actually kind of a challenging fight for early on. I cannot heal again. This is really bad, actually. I remember this being hard if you want to tattle all of them, but I didn't think it'd be quite this bad. I might need to give up the tattling dream if I'm being real. I don't know if I can actually win while tattling all of them. Let me see here. So I have four HP. Uh, I could go for a power bounce and see where that gets me. Boom, baby! Nice! And then I can go for, let's just do a regular old body slam right here. So black is down. Uh, maybe we could try that again. They all have five HP, they're not any different. I don't know if a power bounce is really necessary. Um, hmm. 
No, I think I'll just go for a regular old jump right here because we can knock him over. Ironically, if Goombario was out, he could knock over both of them. Uh, Yeah, let's go for it. I just don't want to mess around too much. I've already depleted a lot of my items by trying to tattle them all. Now that you're all by yourself. That lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky time. Since they can't form the tower and make themselves invincible anymore, let's at least tattle you. Gumbario is the better partner to have out anyway for right now. Uh, jump on you. Can't get back up. This is Red Ninja Koopa. He's the Koopa Bros leader. He's pretty much just a normal Koopa Troopa though. <laughs> the way that that is centered to give it a vacant look is super funny. Uh, the snark is great. I never got to see Goombaria's personality as a kid because, I mean, if the partner ability wasn't there to do damage or solve a puzzle, I didn't care. But I do care about getting 32 star points. Let's go. Whoa! Hey, hello! Somebody let us out of here! Such a good start. These guys are funny, the parody is awesome, their theme music is the best. Good chapter. Good chapter. End of chapter! I feel so... Like, it just feels like we really accomplished something. This whole section is great, and that fight was pretty challenging with what I wanted to do during it. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun.